a firm believer in the Second Amendment. I think, or at least the majority believes that if you give an inch, everything's gone. You can't give an inch. And that's why people have been so firm. But in a situation okay. like that, right? I mean, we all drive. Nobody thinks that you shouldn't have the right to drive, but you have a license. You're taught to drive and you have infractions. Where right. does that line draw from? Can you drive an 18 wheeler? No. Why? Because I don't have the right license to drive an 18 wheeler. Can you fly a helicopter? Uh, no. I mean, so, so this is where I get into arguments with my pro Second Amendment people. If yeah. you want to protect the Second Amendment, I, I have lots and lots of friends who just go out and buy guns and stock their house full of guns and stock their safe full of guns. And they think the more guns they have, the more armed they are. And they don't even practice with the gun they carry, which is hilarious to me. Um, I think there should be proficiency training required to own a pistol. I think there should be another level of proficiency training required to own a semi-automatic rifle. There already is, it, you can't own a fully automatic unless you have an FFL4. But I feel like if you're a person that wants to own one or you want to own a shotgun or rifle, like your hunter safety course or stuff like that, I feel like in this country that licensure will help things a lot. And, but the thing is, one of the things we're up against is there's so many guns in the world and so many guns flood the border from Mexico. They don't just ship drugs here. They ship plenty, plenty, plenty of Glocks here. You know, how do we, in that process of limiting, I don't want to say limiting rights because I'm not even trying to go down that road, yep. but limiting guns being in the hands of unqualified people. Okay. Um, you know, you, you said about driving and there are a lot, a lot, a lot of people out there driving around that have dents in their car. You know, if you go to Walmart right, right now and walk around every car there, I bet you 30% of the cars in the parking lot, I've got a dent in the bumper, a scratch in the side so where they've hit something, clipped something. And those are people who are licensed and drive. If that's a firearm, and, and I hate to use that same analogy, but if that's a firearm, that's, that's bad. Yeah, even if a small amount of that correlates, it's a high, high amount of tragedy. That's exactly right. Yeah. So proof is that oopsies happen in life, okay? I feel like there should be some level of training for citizens to have firearms. And I think that will take some of the pressure off because one of the things that happens, and it's, it's, it's so unfortunate, but you know, like a lot of these school shootings, those firearms were obtained legally. You know, kid took it from dad, from grandpa, from aunt, from whatever, those firearms were obtained legally. I also, so Mike Wolf is trying to pass, the, Tom Wolf is trying to pass this law. I disagree with it because I don't, he wants to make it a law. I, I don't, I don't, it's a slippery slope, Justin, because I do feel like if you own firearms, that it should be mandatory that you have them locked up. That, or a certain percentage of them or a certain, however that works. You know, when, when I take my EDC off, I just lay it down on my nightstand or my kitchen table because I'm the only person here. So to force me to lock that gun up is stupid because if somebody kicks in my door, what am I going to do? You know, I even have a gun in my bathroom because if, you know, I'm in the shower and somebody kicks, you know, kicks the door in, what are you going to do? It sucks extra bad when you're naked. But I, it's tough because when I enter into these conversations, like I'm getting into with you, it's, it's scary because I definitely don't want to give the, the government any leverage whatsoever. But I'm also interested in trying to find a way to limit big explosion that's coming the explosion that's coming yeah you know here, here's what i picture in my mind you know i'm at applebee's and dude comes in and he's waving a gun around he's screaming he's got everybody scared and i pull my pistol out and soccer mom shoots me in the head i got one you know because there's there's a difference between carrying a gun and being vigilant yeah you know there, there's there's a difference between you know a lot of different things there's a lot of and, and when you think about, you know, I'm glad you used the example of driving. And, you know, how many people that you would consider a friend, you don't like riding in a car with them because they're texting and driving 
or they're weaving in and out of traffic or they're on the phone drinking a coffee, you know, with their little freaking lap dog doing, you're like, ah, I don't want to be in a car with them. Sorry. Well, at the same time, that's why I don't go to public gun ranges. Yeah, man, I, I've been very uncomfortable a handful of times at public gun ranges in the past where just looking around, you don't, you don't see a whole lot of people making good decisions. You're not in a position where you can go and speak up and say anything. No. And, and people get offended really, really quick. And be like, Leo, bro, you're like pointing your gun my way. Oh, it's safe. It's unsafe. It's unloaded. Still don't want any holes in me. And what's sad is most people that are buying guns have no interest in taking training, have no interest in any kind of constructive criticism about how to handle a firearm, why you should, you know, why, when, how, you know, we're just not having those talks. So now we have millions more armed Americans in this country that not only do they not have an interest in, they're just not going to. Yeah. They're going to go to the range. They're going to shoot a box of shells or two. And, you know, I see videos. I don't know if you watch TikTok. Yeah. But there are these videos of people all the time of, you know, doing this. Why is your finger on the trigger, dude? Like, get your booger hook off the bank switch. Like you're not on a range, you're not pointed down range. I commented in a video the other day, a guy had his wife shooting. If I do this, what am I doing wrong? That slide is gonna railroad track my thumb. Yeah. So when the slide comes back, it's gonna eat. So she's shooting like this, she's shooting at a target that's, and the road is right behind the target. And you're like, and this is just my wife expressing her second amendment rights. The second amendment, Is, is a baseline and that should not be infringed. But what we should have in place is how do we keep stupid people from doing stupid things to people?